I think I'll tell the story of my people from the very beginning. My grandfather knows all about it. He says the first thing we Sumerians did was get really good at farming. My ancestors used to make their living by hunting wild animals for food. They were constantly on the move following the herds. As they traveled, they would also gather wild berries, nuts, and greens to eat. But they often didn't know where their next meal would come from. It was a hard way to live. Then they discovered they could plant and harvest a kind of wheat they found growing wild. And they also found out how to tame wild goats and sheep and raise them for food. Grandfather calls that domestication. It meant they didn't have to hunt for food anymore. They could grow it themselves. And so my ancestors stopped wandering and stayed here. They discovered that food grows better here than almost anywhere else. That's because we're in a river valley. Right between two rivers, in fact. Mesopotamia actually means land between the rivers. One river is the Tigris, and the other is the Euphrates. My grandfather says it's easy to grow food in our valley because the soil here is so fertile. And he says that is because of the mountains up north. It snows a lot up there in the winter. When the snow melts, all that water runs down into the valley and into the rivers. Then the rivers rise over their banks and flood the valley and they dump a lot of really good dirt on the land. It's great for growing food in. So now we eat really well. We grow barley and wheat, lots of beans and fresh vegetables, and fruits like melons, dates, apples, figs, and grapes. Our animals give us milk, cheese, and meat, and there are always plenty of fish in the rivers. When my ancestors first started farming here, their biggest problem was never knowing when a flood might come and wash away their crops. Even if the crops survived that, they might die in the summer when it's so hot and there's not enough water. But my people didn't give up. Instead, we actually invented a way to control the river. First, we learned how to build levees. Those are big piles of earth between the fields and the river. They're too tall for the river to get over, so they prevent the floods. Then we made gated ditches around the fields, and when the crops needed water in the summer, we would just open the gates and let some river water flow in. To plant our crops, we use a great tool called a plow. It's a Sumerian invention, and we use an ox to pull the plow, another of our great ideas. Some of our smartest people invented a calendar based on the moon and stars. My grandfather says nobody had ever thought of a way to measure time like that before. It helps us know when the floods will come. In our calendar, each year has 12 months, and each month has 30 days. Each month is represented by one of the constellations in the sky. They're called the Zodiac. Our priests watch the Zodiac to know which month it is. That way, they know when the floods from the mountains will arrive. We Sumerians also invented writing. My grandfather says that in the old days, nobody knew how to write. Well, if you can't write, how do you keep track of how many animals you sold last month? What are you supposed to do, paint them on cave walls? No, we're much more modern here in Sumer. We figured out how to write on clay tablets. You just take a piece of reed and cut a stylus from it. That's a sort of hard pointed tool. You press the point into some wet clay and pretty soon you're writing. Our style of writing is called cuneiform. With writing, you can keep records of everything you do. It's great, because then you don't have to remember it all. You also can make things permanent when you write them down. 
for example, we were the first people to write down our laws. But this is maybe the best thing we invented. The wheel. You'd think somebody back in the old days would have thought of it sooner, but we were the first. Before carts and wheels, we used to just drag things around. That was hard. But like I said, we are very modern here in Sumer. 